The slate and stylus are tools used by blind persons to write text that they can read without assistance. Invented by Charles Barbier as the tool for writing night writing, the slate and stylus allow for a quick, easy, convenient and constant method of making embossed printing for braille character encoding. Prior methods of making raised printing for the blind required a movable type printing press. Topic. Design Topic. The basic design of the slate consists of two pieces of metal, plastic or wood fastened together with a hinge at one side. The back part of the slate is solid with slight depressions spaced in braille cells of six dots each. The depressions are approximately 0.75 mm in deep and about 1.5 mm in, in diameter. The horizontal and vertical spacing between dots within a cell is approximately 2.5 mm in, while the distance between adjacent cells is about 4 mm in. .The front of the slate consists of rectangular windows that fit over the braille cells in the back. The inner rim of each window is provided with six indentations, which assist the user to position the stylus properly and press to form a dot. There are pins or posts in the back of the slate positioned in non-cell areas to hold the paper in place and keep the top properly positioned over the back. The pins align with matching depressions on the opposite side of the slate. A slate is designed for a normal 8.5-inch piece of paper has 28 cells in each row. The rows can be any number, usually at least four. The stylus is a short blunted awl with a handle to fit comfortably the hand of the user. Topic. Writing Topic. Writing is accomplished by placing a piece of heavy paper in the slate, aligning it correctly and closing the slate. The pins in the back of the slate puncture or pinch the paper securely between the two halves of the slate. The person writing begins in the upper right. Each combination of dots in the cell has to be completed backward. The awl is positioned and pressed to form a depression in the paper. The writer moves to one of the other dots in the cell or to the next cell as appropriate. The slate is repositioned as needed to continue writing on the paper. When completed the writer removes the slate and turns the paper over to read the braille by feeling the dots that were pushed up from the back. Topic. History Topic. Prior to the system devised by Louis Braille, a number of other methods for blind people to read and or write on paper were used. One of the most popular was the English system of Dr. William Moon invented in 1845. The English, moon system or moon type is easy to learn for the newly blind as it has a strong resemblance to the familiar written alphabet, but Braille has such great advantages over the moon system for regular usage that it quickly eclipsed the moon system. Braille with its slate and stylus was unique in that it was the first and, until computers with screen readers, the only method a blind person could write and read themselves what had been written, the earliest systematic attempt to provide a method to teach the blind to read and to write, and give them books printed by themselves," was by Valentin Hawe who used a system of embossed Roman characters. In June 1784, Hawe sought his first pupil at the Church of saint germain des Prés. On 5 December 1786, Hawe's pupils had embossed from movable letterpress type his essay sur l. Education des Avougles Essay on the Education of Blind Children the first book ever published for the blind. Prior to 1786 tools for the blind to read or write were the results of individuals' personal approaches to solutions. One of the more notable approach was that of Nicholas Saunderson Lucasian professor of mathematics at Cambridge blind nearly from birth, devised an arithmetical slate, Braille evolved from the night writing of Charles Barbier. Ecriture nocturne night writing was invented in response to Napoleon's demand for a code that soldiers could use to communicate silently and without light at night. Because it used a cell with two columns of six dots each a total of twelve dots could be required for a single symbol, the cell was too large for a single touch and was hard to read and learn, it was not successful. Topic gallery topic topic Notes topic topic References topic Alpha Chi Omega 1908. The Liar of Alpha Chi Omega, Teaching the Blind. Original from the New York Public Library, Alpha Chi Omega. p. 285. Dodge, Mary Mapes Dodge, 1920. St. Nicholas, Chapter 11, The Nine Gifts. Original from the University of Michigan, Scribner & Co. 
p. 910. Perkins School for the Blind 1907. Report. Original from Harvard University, Perkins School for the Blind. p. 69. Schrady, George Frederick Schrady, Thomas Lathrop Stedman, Joseph Meredith Toner, et al., 1902. Medical Record. Original from Harvard University, W. Wood. p. 621. Harry Houdini Collection 1888. The Popular Science Monthly, Writing Machines for the Blind. Original from the New York Public Library, D. Appleton. p. 645. Oregon Education Department 1897. Biennial Report. Original from the New York Public Library, Oregon Education Department. p. 164. Mrs. Frederick Rhinelander Jones 1893. The Education of the Blind. In Goodale, Francis. The Literature of Philanthropy. Harper and Brothers. p. 187. Wisconsin State Board of Control 1904. Biennial Report. Original from the University of Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin State Board of Control. p. 222. Stadelman, Joseph M. 1913. Valentin Hawe. In Herbermann, Charles. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Savage, G. M. 1913. Louis Braille. In Herbermann, Charles. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Ada 1994. Americans with Disabilities Act, Accessibility Guidelines for Buildings. Diane Publishing. p. 14. ISBN 0-7881-1830-7. Topic external links Topic How tactile writing began at www.bpa.org Blind Persons Association Braille Slate Simulator